tonight, a Halloween episode. Uh -uh. I'm doing the mask, the face mask. Clarifying face mask. Hmm. You want to see my results and see how it turns out? Stay tuned. First, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you gather your materials. Excuse my messy sink countertop. Oh well. Okay, what I have here is the flat seeds. This is the option. This is the step that is going to be optional, the flat seeds. But I recently, did, I've been trying to um, figure out. I want to um, make a peel off mask. But right now, this is just a dry, a face dry mask, and you're going to wash it off. But I heard that flax seeds are good for your skin anyway, so I'm going to use some of that. So you're going to need some flax seeds, um, preferably ground, so you will have to ground them already. Um, activated charcoal is so also going to go in that mask, and some bentonite clay. Um, the kind of clay I have is the Moroccan red clay powder. I like it. I'm trying to look for this um, Moroccan red clay powder um, facial cleanser, and it's for sensitive skin types. Um, this is gonna be the base. This is what dries. It makes the mask dry. It makes it a face mask. Um, the activated charcoal will serve as, um, you know, you have a charcoal mask. The activated charcoal it opens up and your pores a little bit more, and it's gonna get it, pull the um, dirt out of your face. Um, I also have here some vegetable glycerin. Um, it's the moisturizing. Um, your skin. I was going to put it in a face mask, but I decided to use it after the face mask. And when I, I'm going to need some cotton rounds to apply it, and I also have some witch hazel. So, yep, let's get started. I'm back. Okay. Now, the first step is not going to be on camera because I kind of went on a whim with it. But what I did here in this little glass jar, so like a re you reuse the baby food jar. Okay, but in this jar, what I did is I put a little flax seed in here. It's about, it's swelled up, so I'm not sure. But it's about like a tablespoon probably, I guess. I'm not sure. And then before I put the flax seed in, though, I put like a little taste. You see where that line is? I mean, where the water is? I put a little taste of water. Um, it was hot water. Very, very hot water from the tap, from the sink. You can use whatever kind of water you want. But I used hot water from the sink. And I... Put some flat seeds in there. Um, I'm gonna say I don't like I don't measure stuff, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna say a teaspoon of water and a teaspoon of flat seeds. Okay. And so the flat seeds, I let this. Uh, what I did, I don't, couldn't find a top for this jar, so I just wrapped the entire jar in soft foil and I let it warm up for about 15, 20 minutes. And it's not even water anymore. You see, it's gloopy. So now you can skip the step if you want to. Um, if you skip the step without the flat seed, you can just use a teaspoon of cool water. Instead, okay. Now next, I have my Moroccan red clay powder. And what I'm gonna do, I'm bad with measurements, but what I'm gonna do, I had this fork, I couldn't find a um, spoon, and I didn't wanna use my measuring spoons, but I just take, you don't even need a lot, that's probably too much. But um, I just take a, a, a fork, <laughs> I take a fork full. <laughs> But I'm guessing that's about a teaspoon and a half or so. But, you know, follow the directions. Do a teaspoon of water and a teaspoon of the clay. And since this is already wet, you won't have to add more water to it. And, yeah, I'm just going to add the clay into there. And now I want you guys to know I did test this out before I did, um, before I started recording. And the first mask I used, I didn't use the flaxseed, and I used turmeric. Okay, uh, with that... I either put too much or you have to be careful with that because with the turmeric, I put it in there and when I went to cleanse my face afterwards with the witch hazel, like to close my pores and all, there was yellow because turmeric stains really bad. Yellow was coming all off and I'm like, wow, I could feel like I could still see it on my face. So you have to be careful with that. Okay, now next, take your activated charcoal pills. You can probably buy it in the powder form, but I have a pill, so I don't know how to buy it like that. Oh well. But I have my pill and I don't want to use the gelatin capsule because you can just drop it in there really and it'll dissolve. But I don't want to do that. Um so it's gonna get messy. This part is gonna get messy because this black is stains. And what I do is I just um pinch the side of this tab tablet and try to just screw the top off and just pour it in there. So I'm doing that now. This is the hardest part about this thing. You can also take scissors. I can't find any though and kind of just cut up the side of the top capsule. But 
see. I'm kind of getting better at it because I use this, some of these tablets sometimes to brush my teeth. But see, I got better at it. I, you just got to squeeze it and pull it apart. Yeah, that was a, wow. I ain't never did it so perfect. I wish I would have seen it. Oh well. This is the top. I'm just going to toss it out the sink. It's going to dissolve anyways. And just pour this one. All you need is one. One charcoal tablet. Um, pill. Whatever. And salt the mixture. And it's done with. Toss it down the sink. Okay. Now this is what it looks like all in there. Now it's time for me to mix it up inside this um, gel that I have made here. So I'm just going to mix it up with my fork. You're going to think you're going to need more water. That was my mistake the first time I made this. I thought I needed more water, but you're not going to need more. So I ended up putting more water, then I had to end up putting more clay, and then I made too much. So you don't have to put too much. This is probably enough for like two or three minutes, because a little is going to go a long way. So you just mix this up in the jar. Mix it, mix it, mix it. I'll say um, keep mixing until you see like it forms one solid color. This is a bit different since I made the gel, but it's, it's coming out fine. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this fork and I'm just scraping all the excess down. And smashing it all together. Let's, let's try to get all that in there. Yes, yes. Okay. It's done. <laughs> and this should look like this. Yummy. It looks disgusting. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a bone-ass face mask. And the first time I did this, when I put the face mask on, I'm not even lying. I could feel the, um, I could feel the shit. <laughs> I could feel the, um, I could feel the charcoal opening up my pores. No lie. Maybe some people think, I don't know. I could feel it. I don't know. I could feel it. But now I'm going to go ahead and, um, put the mask on my face, pull my hair back. It's already pulled back. But now I have my new glasses. I'm going to go ahead and um, apply this um, mask to my face now. So I said it's probably enough for two, but it's not like enough for one. Maybe two. But look at that. Look at the consistency. You see that gel? It made the flat feet. It just made it all stick together. That's what you want. You don't want it runny. You want it to stick together. And I can't. I'm scared to take my glasses off. I'm thinking you're not going to be able to see me, but I can't see. But, yeah. Let me go ahead and roll my sleeves up. Gonna get in this shit. You might want to keep a um, wet towel nearby or just be by your sink so you can be able to, um, you know, wipe it. Whenever you finish wiping, you just rinse your hands. So make sure when you, um, just like any mask, avoid getting too close to your eyes. Um, try your best not to get in your hands. This, if you do, it's okay. It's not a peel off mask, so it won't be that bad. Wipe it up. Time to apply this. So grab it with my hand. Ooh, oh. It feels, it feels really goofy because it is um, a gel. Now I'm trying to practice uh, what I learned a while ago when applying stuff like makeup or whatever. Try to apply an upward motion. Like sweeping up, don't pull your face down. And when you put this on, you can already feel it. What I would like to add with some essential oils, maybe some peppermint, or, you know, to get it working in there more. But when you're sliding this on, I, I promise, it's a cool feeling. Um, and it's like, as soon as you start applying it, you can feel your pores, like, opening up. You can feel, like, all the air rushing into your skin. And you can feel your pores opening up due to the activated charcoal. Ugh. Dropping stuff. This is a bit harder to apply due to the gel, like, consistency, because of the flat seeds. But I feel like it's going to be worth it. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wet my fingers a little bit. Maybe I should add a little bit more water into this. There we go. You can probably um, damp your face just a little bit before you pop them in. Dry, so make sure you do this at a reasonable time. I sound funny, talking about this because my face is actually tight. 
This part's open my mouth on the top. But as you can see, it's a little greenish. From the back, um, charcoal. But yeah, I should have got a little bit more on my chin. It'll be alright. I'm gonna let it dry up. It's almost done. You just go ahead and pat around and touch it. Just a little bit on the nose area. I'm just gonna take, um, some paper and fan my face because I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> I never figure out which way to turn this camera. But okay, um, I'm actually done. Well, I'm not done, but <laughs> my face is done. It's dry. Look at it. I look like Freddy Cougar. But, um, it's, <laughs> it's dry. And you see it's actually just peeling off. Well, it's not peeling, peeling like I wanted to. But, I'm gonna go ahead, um, Yes, okay. It's dry, so I just have to go back and show you guys what it looks like when it was dry. You see, it's just falling off of my face. And so, what I'm about to do now is I'm going to rinse my face with lukewarm water. When you rinse it with um, hot water, it's going to open your pores back up. So, I'm going to do a little, it's not going to be like too hot, but it's going to be um, warm enough to help this um, so my face won't be shivering cold. But also, go back and um, Turn the water down to look warm, okay? Okay, okay, y'all. I just got through um, rinsing my face off. Let me pull this closer. And when I tell you my face is super duper soft, this is ridiculous. My, the first mask I made without the flaxseed, my face didn't even feel like this. But man. My skin is super smooth. Okay, that's not the end though. So you're gonna rinse your face off. Man, look at that. But you're gonna rinse your face off. Um, some people like to use a towel and like to um, wet the towel and wipe it off. But I don't like to do that because it stains the towel. So I just, you know, you know it's good to exfoliate. You know, go ahead and scrub. Scrub that stuff off. Exfoliate your skin. Scrub it off. Make sure it's warm water. Now what I'm gonna do, take my cotton pad, cotton rounds, whatever. I'm gonna just take one. Sometimes I use two. So I'm gonna use one. And what I'm gonna do is cut around, just wet a little bit, just a little bit. I got the water running this might be, and I'm just gonna run it under there. Wait. Okay. So now it's not soaked or anything, but it's wet. It's wet enough. Squeeze all the excess water out of it. And it's cotton is like this. It's wet cotton round. And the reason why I wet this is because this is um what I'm using here. Is a um this is a method of applying a witch hazel to my face. This is not the ordinary witch hazel you buy in um it's kinda it's stronger, I am guessing. It's stronger than normal. And then, you know, but here's the witch hazel I wanna use. So I'm just gonna put that dry cotton pad back there and it's gonna suck up all the excess water. Okay. And also, first, okay. and also this bottle is dark. Whenever you buy something that's in a dark bottle like this, try to keep it inside a dry, dark place, like your peroxide and all that. It lasts longer. So, um, sip of the day. <laughs> Go ahead and just do a few um, dabs of witch hazel on this wet cotton swab. On the wet cotton swab. Now I'm doing the witch hazel first because I don't want to get anything else inside the bottom. And I've had this for about a week and I'm already using quite a bit. I think I'm just going to use a little less. But I put the witch hazel on here. And now what I'm going to use is the vegetable glycerin. This is moisturizing your face. The witch hazel is, um, get any excess um, of the face mask off. I still have a little bit on my face. And it also closes your pores from cleansing. So whenever you do a face mask, you want to make sure you close your pores back up. You do that by um, wash it with cold water. If you can't stay in cold water, what you're going to do is you're going to use witch hazel to close your pores. Witch hazel is going to dry your skin out, so what I'm going to use which is witch hazel. It's a little bit of this vegetable blistering. This here is 100% pure. Ooh. Ooh. This is 100% pure. That's why I added the water to this pad because you don't want to put all of that on your face. It's going to make it all bleh, goopy and funny feeling. So you don't need too much. Just put a drop or two. Boop, one drop. Two drops. 
And it instantly goes into the um, cotton pad. I'm gonna do three. That's probably too much right there. Just three drops of uh, the vegetables in it. I work that together. I'm just gonna go and put it on my face. And when you, whenever you're applying something to your face, try to start this process of going into upward motion. Because gravity is pulling your face down already. You don't wanna keep, you don't wanna assist it by pulling your face down. So go ahead, start from the bottom. And just wipe up. And you're gonna see a little, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. This will be a little bit extra. Um, or the face mask comes off onto the cotton pad. It's a little cold. I'm sorry, I'm still jamming. But look, I wish you could like come to the screen and touch my skin. Because when I tell you my face, my face is so soft, it's ridiculous. But y'all gotta try this out, man. Y'all gotta try this out. I wish you could touch my skin. Well, don't touch it. Never mind, don't touch my skin. But it's, man, I ain't felt my face felt like this in forever. The flat seeds did it. This feels amazing. But thanks for joining me today. <clears throat> you all should try out this mask. Try it out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have a mask that you already do, let me know what kind of mask you do. You know? <laughs> and let me know how that goes. But try to try this out. It's not. It doesn't cost much. Um, I bought these products like over the week. It took me about a month to buy everything. I already had flat seeds, but it's not over. It's not over twenty dollars. All these products together, and it'll be worth it. Even if it was a little expensive, it'll be worth it. Cause my skin is super soft. Next, I need to work on these lips, but that's that's not the point right now. But yeah, smooth as a baby bottle. Mm. So let me know what you think. Thanks. See you guys later night. Toodaloo.